Well, welcome to uh, Second Presbyterian Church and our service, our Tenebrae service on, on Good Friday. A Tenebrae service is um, actually where we read one of the words of Christ, his last words on the, on the cross. Then we take a moment to reflect, and then there's a prayer that follows it. And with each word, it's a descent into darkness. Uh, darkness of Christ's death as we we seek to be with Christ experiencing somewhat the uh, the abandonment that he felt and perhaps even recognizing our own uh, our own being complicit in the scandal of the murder of our God so why is it called Good Friday well I think we all know that um, the crucifixion is the portal through which Christ passes and then returns so that we are given new life and guaranteed new life and life forever as eternal beings with our Savior. But tonight, tonight it doesn't feel good. So um, take a moment to pray. And as you hear the word read, you'll see on the screen the prayer that I'll ask each one of you to join with us as we pray. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Dear Lord, though we would that you have forgiven us, this truth needs to penetrate our hearts in new ways. Help us to know with fresh conviction that we are fully and finally forgiven, not because of anything that we have done, but because of what you have done for us. May we live today as forgiven people, opening our hearts to you, choosing not to sin because the power of sin has been broken. Amen.
Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord Jesus, how we wonder at your grace and mercy. When we cry out to you, you hear us. When we ask you to remember us when you come into your kingdom, you offer the promise of paradise. Your mercy exceeds anything we might imagine. It embraces us, encourages us, it heals us. O oh Lord, though our situation differs from the criminal who cried out to you, we are so like him in need of mercy. Today we live trusting you and you alone. Our lives now and in the world to come are in your hands. And so we pray, Jesus, remember us when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember us today as we seek to live within your kingdom. Amen. Woman, here is your son. Lord, the presence of your mother at the cross breaks our hearts. You are dying for the love of your created, yet you are also fully human, a son with a mother. Thank you for loving us to your death. Because you have given us all that you are, we give you our praise, our love, our hearts, all that we are. All praise be to you, dear Jesus, fully God and fully human, Savior of the world. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Lord Jesus God, though we can never fully grasp the horror of your isolation, 
Every time we read this phrase, we are overtaken with gratitude. We thank you for how you loved us. What can we do but to offer ourselves to you in praise and in gratitude? Thank you for loving us so. I thirst. Lord God, we acknowledge the searing thirst you endured as you assumed our humanity that you might take away our sin. Sweet Jesus, we too are thirsty for the new wine of your kingdom to flood our souls that we might be refreshed by your living water. We yearn for your spirit to fill us once again. Amen. It is finished. Jesus, God, you did it. You finished that for which you had been sent, faithful in life, faithful in death. You accomplished that which no one else could. You bore the sin of the world upon your sinless shoulders. All praise be to you, gracious Lord. All praise be to you, dear Jesus, for redeeming us. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you. 
Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Gracious Lord, even as you once entrusted your spirit into the hands of the Father, so we give our lives to you. We trust you and you alone. We submit to your sovereignty and will live for your glory. Because of your love, we no longer despair. In your strength and compassion, we live in hope. Amen. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you crew. 